Hey everybody and welcome back to Cityscape Brewing. Today we're going to be talking about cold crashing. There are a lot of benefits to cold crashing your beer. It helps get sediment to drop from inside the fermenter to the bottom into the tube and it helps create clearer beer. And this is really important for certain styles of beer such as New England IPAs or hazy beers. And one of the thing that one of the things that worries people about cold crashing uh, is the uh, introducing contamination or suck back because the lower temperatures create a vacuum in the fermenter. And so when you have a carboy or a bucket inside of your fermentation chamber and you gradually lower the temperature, it creates a vacuum because of the colder temperature inside of your uh, fermenter and it can suck back the sanitizer or liquid that you have inside of your airlock and so whether it's this one or the or the cup style airlock and then after the sanitizer's out the oxygen from inside of your um, refrigerator or your carboy whichever you're cold crashing in can actually suck back into your fermenter and um, Beers such as New England IPAs especially are very prone to oxidation and can get off flavors from the oxidation. And so one thing that I do um, when I cold crash specifically New England IPAs um, is use what they call a cold crash guardian. And so uh, this is a product I found online uh, that actually worked really, really well. Um, it creates a bag um, that you have here. Uh, this attaches to your carboy um, through another hose that I have into a uh, a bung on the top it uh, allows for the blow off of your uh, co2 still through a one-way valve and then this would go into a, a cup of sanitizer and i'll show you what that looks like when it when, when it's all hooked up but in this case what would happen is you have a valve on this bag and you would open this up and essentially it lets the co2 that's naturally occurring in your beer as your uh, beer is fermenting to fill up this bag partially um, and then when you have it partially full or full, you turn this valve off. And when you're ready to cold crash, then you uh, open this valve again and it sucks the CO2 out of the bag uh, back into your beer rather than oxygen. So I'll show you what that looks like when it all gets hooked up and we'll go from there. All right, so I got this thing all set up. The, uh, you can see here it's coming out of the bung. Uh, it's attaching over here. I have the valve for the bag closed and closed is kind of actually straight out, not all the way over to the other side because there is a little bit of a hole that uh, is on the other side for kind of a pressure release. And then the other side opens it up to allow the bag to fill up. So at first we want to keep this closed and we want to let the pressure build up and start actually showing signs of fermentation uh, into our sanitizer or airlock over there. And so now that that is doing that, it's purging all of the uh, air that was in the hose out. We're gonna let that do that for a few minutes. And then we're gonna turn this bag to open and let that fill up. And once that starts filling up, I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so as you can see, the um, bladder full of CO2 is all the way full. Um, and now it is actually pushing the excess through the blow off tube through the one way valve there um, in the middle right here. And so what we can do now is actually just close off the bladder and let it finish fermentation. And then when we are ready to cold crash, um, I'll flip this uh, valve back open that's on that white cap there and let it go ahead and um, use that CO2 that was from the fermentation to suck back instead of oxygen uh, back into the fermenter when the vacuum is created from cooling down the beer. Um, I'm gonna also put a link in the video description on where to buy these. Um, I'm not supported by them in any way, just thought it was a really neat um, contraption that a lot of people should use to cold crash if they're worried about oxy oxygenation or contamination when they do cold crashing. So. Enjoy this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.